Hi guys, welcome to Daddy and the Don. Today we're going to be previewing uh, Burnley versus Brentford this weekend. And my guest today is Jay. Hi Jay, thanks for coming back on. So firstly, before we talk about the upcoming game, um, thoughts on the loss against Leicester last weekend. Um, how are you feeling about that? Hi Graham, thanks for having me again. Um, yeah, Leicester, a bit of a d- tough one to take. A wonder goal from Tillemans, what a strike that was. And then a bit uncracked, charismatic, uh, characteristic um, defending from us. Jensen a bit naive, stepping up when he did it when he shouldn't have. And uh, we let a silly, un- silly goal in from Madison. Um, what I will say is, I'm not going to moan about it as much as other fans, but I think Kasper Spikel is a little bit well overrated he was time wasting from the 33rd minute and I don't really have a problem with it because we've been accused of it by clubs as well to be honest it's how you break up games and win games and and not let your opponents settle in but I think there's a lot of Leicester fans who think they play proper football and they're kind of next in line after the the clubs with a lot of money when in reality is they're just the same as everyone else don't produce any talent themselves they just buy them what Tielemans is 30 million so when they pretend they're different to everyone else they're not really are they um but yeah i thought they were the most bang average team we've played at home um but yeah i think we're lick it, lacking a little bit of depth at the moment uh, i think when we bring godos and force on i don't think it's in, as impactful as obviously clearly Wiesa is um having yana on the pitch and then and Yeka on the bench for example or jensen on the bench although i thought his deliveries into the box yesterday were quality we just didn't have it Ivan's missed the header that he probably should have scored, to be honest. Um, Brian's had enough of a couple of chances where he's just got to find a target, to be honest. Um, but I think once things start clicking a little bit, like we're 12, I think that's probably where we're going to finish up at the end of the season. We're coming into three games now where I don't want to say easy, but I want to say they're winnable. Um, whereas the last four games we've had, I didn't really expect anything and we've come away with four points. So I think we've had a good little four spell, two losses on the bounce to see how we uh, recover from this. I think you see from the socials, the lads are, uh, they always look to the next game. So which is Thomas Frank's mentality is we celebrate a win for 24 hours. We we're sad for a loss for 24 hours, but after that we're focused on the next game. So no worries here uh, on to Burnley away. Now, your opponents this weekend, Burnley on paper, you, you think this is an easy win, but I think it would be silly to think that's a gimme. It's the Premier League, anyone can beat anyone and they'll do a win. Do you agree with me or do you, do you think, no, this should be three points regardless where we're playing? 100% I agree with you. There are no easy games in the Prem. Um, I think it's a class above to... Obviously, there's it's obvious things to say, but I think when you, you see it with your eyes a little bit more and you're involved in the league, you see the quality in every team um, and the threat that they all possess. Um, I think Burnley, I don't want to say unlucky, but um, they've had... They've had quite a lot of um, tough games like we've had to begin with. This is our first bottom six game that we're playing. Um, So we're looking for the win and we've got a higher percentage than we have in the last four games in each of those. Um, But we're away at a team who have a similar pass percentage success to us. Most teams are up in the 80s. Us and Burnley are down 70 71 last time i looked so and we've also both won the most aerial duels so we're coming up a team who are quite similar to us um i don't think a lot of people would normally compare that um but uh but as the stats look out they're they're very similar to how we've been playing so far this season um i think some of our pass percentages because we have been doing those long balls and they are a harder pass to find rather than us building up from the back um so i don't think it's necessarily negative i think the middle of the park need to get a little bit better in in terms of controlling that. I thought Norgard was excellent yesterday and and on Yeka, but I think they still look a little bit like they're finding the way to play together. So when I hark back to it, why why was Baptiste playing over on Yeka when he should have been getting that game time? But I suppose that's just me. And again, I don't want to question what Frank does, but that's just kind of one question I would have personally. Injuries are starting to play a part. Obviously, you're quite a weak bench against Leicester. Um... Do you think Frank maybe might have misread the uh, transfer window? Because I do think we're a little bit weak in some areas, especially up top. You know, no offence to Marcus Force or even Samuel Godos, but they're not 
some ones who can play regularly in this league. They are bench players. Do you think if if these injuries that you have are well longer, do you think that um, Frank will need to dip in and get a few more players in the January transfer window? Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. We said it yesterday. Um, the bench hasn't been looking our strongest, but I think um, they're touting Josh around the new year time to be back, so he'll be like a signing. Um, Vitali can't be far away. Ayo was back yesterday. I know Zanka's actually played really well the last couple of games, and I think he's found his feet. He scored yesterday, obviously. So um, that's going to be a really tough, tough option to be honest, because I Ayo has been doing fantastic as well. Um, but yeah, Yan out, out as well. Um, it's hard for a squad like ours um, to have squad depth because. Player, I think we've helped ourselves in terms of we've shown that we can compete and players can go. Actually, Brentford aren't probably aren't going to go straight down this year. Who knows what happens next year? But we've given them a little bit of confidence. So normally we don't really buy much in January. But yeah, I can see two or three, maybe four players coming in, not necessarily first teamers, but to start pushing that first eleven. Weiss is, like you say, the biggest miss for us so far. He's been outstanding coming on, um, potentially rotation between him and Brian who goes up top because I think Brian has a lot uh, lot to offer um, I mean if he found the net with all the opportunities he got he'd probably be top scorer right with Salah but um, so those are the fine margins in this league but Brian's what 21 22 he's he's gonna come good well he is good do you know what I mean but I mean he's gonna he's gonna make that turn the switch and make that next step um, and I think he'll probably be with us um, we'll see what happens after next season or where we end up this season, to be honest. But yeah, I definitely can see some, some purchases coming in January because, um, yeah, that bench was looking weak. What's the key battle in this game then? Where can it be won and lost for both sides? Uh, and just going on to Brentford, uh, where do you need to target Burnley? Is there anyone in particular or anyone for you that can really change the game? Uh, that Maxwell Cornick that they've signed, he looks a really good player. Um, but I think this is just going to be a battle but to be honest, I can see it being a draw um, because Burnley do pose a, a similar threat. Like, I think our, our styles will cancel each other out. I think we'll defend well, they'll defend well, um, and, and it could be a draw. But obviously, I'm, I want the win. Um, but key battles is making sure we keep look after Maxwell Cornick and kind of don't give him a little bit too much time on the ball. But also defensively, um, they play two up top as well, I think, most of the time. So it's it's how we deal with their physical presence. Um, again, like I say, it's, it's a very similar style to what we've played so far this season, um, rather than coming up against like teams that are playing for Europe and competing for Europe. Um, this is going to be a different test in itself. How do you see the game going then? How do you see both teams approaching it? Do you think this will be quite an edgy game or do you, do you see Brentford dominating or... Or do you see Burnley trying? Mate, Burnley, do you think Burnley think that they can get the win and play a little bit more adventurous? How do you see it going? Uh, you can't take anything away from from Burnley and what Sean Dyche has done there. He's built a really solid team that know what they're doing. They've been there a long time. Tarkowski obviously was with us for a little bit, not very long. I don't really have fond memories of him because he forced the move in January, and I, I don't really respect that. So I think he's a bit of a mug to be honest. Um, but. I think they're a really well drilled outlet outfit. Like I say, this is the first bottom six team that we're playing, so I'm not saying I'm expecting it to be easy, but I think we will change our style a little bit um, to kind of what we um, to kind of what we were a little bit more used to in the championship, where we kind of play through the thirds and, and keep the ball on the deck, and um, Tony will be in that six yard box because he's been dropping quite deep and kind of be, uh, linking up with uh, players rather than kind of being that one to to knock the ball in, which which is obviously his forte. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those ones we'll have to wait and see. Um, like I say, because it's uh, a, a, a side in the bottom six and that we're battling with, with relegation for, um, these are definitely the games we need to win, though. Um, but I would, would not say it's easy at all. All right, Jay, thanks for coming on again. Uh, prediction, what do you think the score will be? said I can see it being a draw I always back the boys um, I think we'll get we'll get a 2-0 away win here um, I can't see them scoring past us defensively I think we'll kind of I think Leicester was a little bit of a, an eye opener in terms of we don't make those type of mistakes for the second goal and how are we going to cancel that out and, and Brian Raymer, which all the players rave about we'll, we'll be on to the boys about that so yeah I think defensively we'll be sound and I think we'll get a couple of goals 
Thanks, Jay. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate your time and your opinions. Um, yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, see you next time. Thank you.